Good morning, Floss Tube. I'm Terry. And I'm Jamie. And, and we're, we're the Cornhusker Corn State Stitchers. Today is June 27th, and this is Floss Tube number 21. Yay, 21. Yay. Can you ready. believe that? No, I can't. Yeah. It's gone fast. Hi, guys. Welcome. Grab a coffee, grab a Coke, grab a wine, whatever you like to drink. Sit down, let's chat. Or a soda, or a pop. <laughs> However you like to say it. <laughs> whatever. We're pop people. Yeah. Um, we're a day late. Dollar short and a day late. <laughs> But we're here. Yep. So thank you for waiting for us if you have. Yeah. Um, you want to talk about what came out last week or two weeks ago? Yeah. Um, we told you in our last video that we were doing a interview with the floss tuber with Becca at Sunbury Stitches. And that came out the Sunday after our last video. Yep. So um, we've gotten a lot of people from that. So thank you very much for joining us. We appreciate having you here. And as always, we appreciate the people who have been sticking with us. Week after week after week since we started this yep. 21 videos ago. <laughs> and this wonderful adventure of ours. Yeah. Yes. So, so thank you, everybody. We appreciate having you. Like Mom said, all of our new subscribers, all of our returning subscribers. So thank you so much for that. I'll go ahead and link her video, um, Sambri Stitch's video, down below so you yeah. can see that if you want. Yeah. Um, so what have we been doing? Um, not stitching. No. No. <laughs> um, my grandson, Colt, went to St. Jude. He has to go back every three months to have scans. So he went and did that, spent a week down there, and um, his scans came back all clear again. So Yay. very thankful for that. Um, I had my other grandson tie for the week just during the days. Mm -hmm. um, so that was fun. That kept me busy. Had and some baseball had games. Some baseball games. And and good stuff there. Yeah. So I didn't get much stitching done because of it, but... Last week was Father's Day for us here. Dad was on a trip, mm -hmm. um, so we did not get a chance to have dinner with him, but we did when he got home. Um, we went to Elkhorn, Nebraska. To You did. Well, yeah. <laughs> I was getting to that point. My husband and I went to go see his dad, so we were able to see him on Father's Day, so that was good. Yeah. Yep. Anything else? Okay, I got my hair cut, so she, like, really cut it all off, so <laughs> I feel naked. Yeah, so um, had an aerobatic competition. Had an air, hair, aerobatic competition. It's actually still going on right now. I got out of it, so I can stay <laughs> home today. Um, we had a prior commitment. That's right. It started with an aerobatic school, so what these people do is they come in and they basically take their airplane and do aerobatics, so it's like a gym gymnastic contest. Yep. For airplanes. They do somersaults, loops, spins, barrel rolls. And get judged on it. I mean, they yep. have to be perfect lines and whatever. Um, so we had that going on. So I spent a lot of time mowing the, the airport, spraying the weeds, the cracks, you know, cracks on the runway for weeds. We have to keep that down so our concrete stays in good shape. How many people do you think showed up? Um, they had 20 pre-registered, but... As of Friday night when I left, I didn't leave there until like 10.30. They already had 30, 30 planes show up. So And these are, um, they're called experimental aircraft, but people put some time and effort into these planes. These are spectacular aircraft. So you have to find hangars for these planes. Yeah. And we have been having some serious rain in the last couple of days, some serious thunderstorms. Yeah. So you had to find room for all these planes. Yep. And unfortunately, they're not getting all their flights in because of the rain, but we're doing the best that we can, and yep. we're getting them all in the hangar, so. Yep. It's a good time. Yeah. Um, it's always been something I look forward to every year, because it's just fun. It's, yep. it's like every year. big old play day. Yeah, it's a lot of work. A lot of work for us, but, you know, once you get your work done and all the people fly in, we don't. How much we do don't that get any of our maintenance work done, so we yeah. just sit around, we talk to them, and eat, and watch them fly, so <laughs> life is good. And then we had a um, last-minute trip up to Fremont, Nebraska yesterday, Yay. so we'll talk about that, that some was more. Fun. That's why we're a day late. Yeah. Um, and then we had a wedding reception to go to last night, so yes. very casual, very very fun, got to see some family. Yep. That, was, that was good. like that. Okay. Um. So... Last Monday, your husband was helping a friend work on a vehicle, so we had the night to ourselves. Oh yeah! So we went to a we went to Hoo Hot, which we don't get very often because he doesn't like it. So when he's gone, Jamie and I go. Well, when Jamie and I get together, it's like, oh, you want to do this? You want to do that? Mm -hmm. So I needed to go to Kohl's to pick up a shirt for this wedding reception. And what's beside it? 
Marshalls. Home Goods. Home Goods, Marshalls. Marshalls, which we never go to. And if you guys follow the people who collect Ray Dunn, you know that you get it at Home Goods. And we swore. It's a thing. Yeah, we swore. It's like, I don't get it. I don't understand why all these people are liking these. I'm, I'm not going to get any. I, I... So Jamie's like, well, it's there. Do you want to go in and just see what's there? So if you follow Sandbury Stitches, Becca, um, she's been showing some. Right down the hall. Right down the hall. And she got some. Fourth of July stuff, some patriotic stuff, and it's like, okay, now you're starting to get me because that is really cute. You know how we feel about patriotic. Yeah. So it's like, all right, let's just go in. I see if I can get that cup. If not, we're out of there. If they're cheap enough, you know, maybe we'll find another cup. So, so did you find anything? So I did. I found the USA cup with the little red inside. I thought it was really cute. But could I stop there? No, you buy no. one, and then no. you keep buying. They're cute. So I found this one. I woke up like this. And that's not supposed to be in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> so, it kind of goes along with the one you have at work. Yeah, that one cracked me up. Which is Hot Mess Express. I, I was going to say that. Oh, okay. So my favorite one is Hot... I got Hot Mess Express, and that's at work. I got a lot of compliments and laughs about that one. <laughs> I got You Are My Sunshine, mainly because it's yellow inside, and I really like that. No. But, were yeah. you going to say something else? Well, eventually. Okay. So I found these towels, Home of the Brave, Land of the Free, Stars and Stripes, America the Beautiful. And I guarantee you, these things are white, and they will never make it. You won't to let be used us use in my them. kitchen. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I'm gonna probably hang it and then threaten whoever decides to try and yeah. use it. Yeah. So so yeah, I broke down, I did the ray done thing. So the whole time mom was looking, she's like, Do you want one? Do you want want one? Can we find one? Do you like them? I'm like, if they're they're relatively cheap, I can find one. You know, if I find one that I like, I'll I'll get it. And I'm looking, I'm like, if they're just not doing anything for me, I just I I don't know. And she's like well, there's got to be one here. I'm like, well, I'm not going to buy one just for the sake of buying one. So there was nothing there because, of course, she wouldn't let me have the USA one. That was the last one in the store. The yeah. only yeah. patriotic one. So we started walking up. I didn't get anything. And we're walking up to the checkouts, and they had more. They had a nice big display of more <laughs> yeah. red end cups. <laughs> so I was looking. I'm like, no, no. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do this. Yep. <laughs> and then I found one, and this is the one that got me. Nope. That's me. <laughs> and all the way to the checkout, she's like, why am I doing this? I why am I doing this? Why am I buying why am this? I doing this? I don't understand. But I did, and I have been using it for water, and I'm loving it, and it's great. And Did you just get the one? No, I have two more at I was home. I you got more. One's picking daisies, and it's it's the yellow inside, and then the other one is you get a girl, and it's pink inside. Yeah. Yep. Goes cool. along with my breast cancer stuff, so. Yeah. Okay. Got that on the way. All right. Questions? We do have some questions. Um, Paula asked, so she said, where do you get your base fabric? And if I'm not mistaken, she's referring to when we dye our own fabric, where we get that fabric yeah. from. Um, we buy 28 Count Monaco. We usually get it at um, Joanne's. And it's the DMC. Charles Craft. Charles Craft DMC stuff. Mm -hmm. And it just comes in a tube. I don't have one with me to show. You can get them from Joanne's, Michael's. I don't think Hobby Lobby has them anymore. That quarter shop has them. That's, we get a lot of them from there. Yep. But otherwise, any white fabric that we have that we want to dye, we don't, full coverage is about the only time I use white fabric. Otherwise, we just dye it to something a little prettier because we stitch in hand. Um, we try to keep our hands as clean as possible, but you know, you still have hand oils and stuff. Mm hmm so, that colored fabric helps with that. Um, next questions. Janata asked, she asked if we had a pontoon boat from the picture that I showed in our last video. Oh, yeah. We do. Yeah. It's it's fun. I have a regular, just a regular boat. What do you call it? Not a speed boat or just, it's, just it's, a boat. Just a boat. She's got a boat. It's not a fishing <laughs> boat. But they have a pontoon boat, so. Yes. And my husband's been tinkering with it some more, so. So if we want to pull each other on rafts, then we take out my boat. If we want to just float around and eat lunch and enjoy the water, we take the pontoon boat. Yep. Yeah. And then Sonia, or Sonia, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. She asked if we could tell her about the fabric with the squares. So let me show that real quick. 
Um, so this is the fabric I believe she's speaking of. We showed this in our last video. This is part of haul too. It's t the ones we get are 25 count, easy count, gridded white and gray fabric. It's a Lugana. So the idea behind it is it's gridded to replicate your grid lines in your pattern. So it's a lot easier to follow your pattern. And the grid lines are gridded out every 10 stitches. Yes. So it's 10 inch square. Yeah, 10 I'm stitches sorry, 10 per stitch inch. square. Or not. Yeah, <laughs> words. Okay, back up. <laughs> they are every 10 stitches. Yes. There's a grid line. Let me put it that way. Um, so it, it just really helps to figure out where you're at. And you can double check different things. And it's, it's helpful. Yeah. It does wash away. Um, I actually just watched a video, um, Stitching Big Things with Hallie. And she did a video where she showed washing it and the gray coming out. And you just wash it in really warm water with some Dawn detergent. Let it sit there for a while and it'll come out. I'm just going to make a note of that and we can um, put her in the description box. Sure. I box. can do that. I haven't even finished her last video. That's as far as I got into her video is, is watching that, that portion of it. So I I'm should go back way, and finish. I'm way behind on watching my floss tubes. So. So Cheryl asked, um, and we'll get into this a little bit more, well, anyway, Cheryl asked, she said that she had bought the Christmas calendar by Tiny, Tiny Modernist and that she liked the richness of our colors. Could you list your color changes? So Cheryl, we will do that once I show it in um, whips. But then she also said, um, what are the clips called that you keep your large pieces rolled up with? So you've got a couple different ways you do that. Um, mine are clear over there. But we've shown them before, the, the magnetic clips. Those are from Amazon. Yep, and but they're smart and cool. They're these magnetic clips. Yep. And they usually stick better than that, but I have them through a lot of layers. A lot of layers. And then you also have... I have these little clips that I get at either Joann's or Fat Quarter Shop. They're quilting clips, so... You clip them on when you're sewing binding on quilts to hold the binding on. They're but called I use Wonder Clips. Wonder Clips, thank you. I use them on to hold my cross stitch. Mm -hmm. Keeps it out of the way. You can get them in red, um, multicolored. They're fun. They're good stuff. I've gotten desperate enough if I can't, if I'm working on something, I can't find any clips. I put a paper clip on it. <laughs> I don't leave it on there because it'll rust. But yep, and of course not on your stitching. No, but I I got to kick out of Pam's question. It's a rhetorical, but I love it anyway, because we had our um, patriotic enabling session last week, or last time. She said, you can never have too many patriotic charts, can you? No. No. No, you no. cannot. So we appreciated seeing how we enabled everybody, because everybody enables us, so we're spreading the love. Yeah, so a lot of people said that they found some charts that they wanted to get, or they stopped the video to go buy some charts, so you guys let us know which charts you found that yes. you liked out of what we showed, and which one you may have ended up getting, one mm -hmm. or or two or ten or yeah if there's any that you think we need let us let know. us know please <laughs> and then Jeannie asked she asked what starch do you use for the quilting um we basically just use whatever we can get our hands on we're not picky about it too fanatic about it yeah so what we have now is faultless niagara and it's a medium where's the okay so it's a just a medium um stiffness mm-hmm and original. That, yep, that's what we have been getting right now, and it's only a couple of bucks of cans, so that could change next week, but that's what we're getting right now. Yep, and we're still um, formulating how we starch, what's working for us, if we need to change um, stiffness or not, if we soak it, if we don't soak it, just different things like that. And by soaking it, I don't mean dunking it into liquid starch, I just mean like spraying yeah. until it's soaking. And then if we're just like um, spot spraying a block or something that we want to lay flat, then we still use our best press. Mm -hmm. Teresa asked, um, hers was in regards to full coverage. She was saying that they can be intimidating and do we just take the plunge and say, what the heck, let's just start one. That's, yeah, that's pretty, pretty much, much, yeah. We yeah. um, see a picture we like and want to do it. It's like, well. You don't get intimidated by the full coverage. You just take it a square at a time. And, mm -hmm. and for me, it's about um, stitching the picture. I want the picture at the end of it. Right, right. So I just find little pieces within the picture to stitch, kind of break it down. Yeah. Uh, but when we first started, you know, Dimension Kit, 
dimensions kits were one of the biggest things out there yeah. and sunset kits and Bucilla kits and it's just what you did and they were mostly full coverage mm -hmm. so so that's kind of we started there and then once we realized wow we can do little pieces that was pretty cool yeah yeah oh wow tiny okay yeah. <laughs> I can get one done in like a week versus six months okay six, six years <laughs> six years yeah Catherine asked, she said she is also from Nebraska. Hi, Catherine. Hi. Um, in today's video, there was a pattern by Lizzie Kate called, and it's actually called Christmas Rules. She asked if we could tell her where to get it. So Lizzie Kate, she's technically retired, but she did give 123 Stitch yep. rights to sell her patterns. So you can get all of them from 123stitch.com. Mm -hmm. There are six individual patterns. Um, so you do have to purchase all of them, and then if you want to do the whole thing. And then there is a free border on Lizzie Kate's blog still, and I've I've checked recently in the last six months, and it's still there. So you just print out that border if you want to do it just like the back. And then, let's see. Oh, um, Jen had asked if we could show our little Christmas um, countdown pieces, the Christmas calendar. Um, we'll again we'll show that when we go through whips. Yeah. That's what we Is have the questions. Yes. We try and catch all the questions. If for some reason we miss your question, ask again. We'll get it get it taken care of. Yep. We do our best. For some reason YouTube doesn't always like to show us all the questions when we're looking for them. So yep. Okay. They kind of get buried. They do get somewhere. buried. Yeah. Okay. Whips. I only have a few. I didn't work on, I mean, we alluded to this earlier, we've been busy, and I didn't get a lot of, um, I'm going to borrow this, a lot of stitching done. We took out more than we did. <laughs> we took out, I took out a lot. <laughs> I have my tune sampler, I'm still working on it. This is one we've been taking out. This thing has been a pain in my rear. It's plaguing, plaguing you. I have taken it out, I've put it in, put it in, I've taken it out. Seven ways to Sunday, I tell you what, this thing is just... Jamie finally figured it out for me. It's like, there's a problem. It's not major. I just don't want to look for it anymore. It's about ready to go in the trash can. <laughs> and you're doing that on 32 count. Beautiful beige. Which out. Which out. Yep. Did you want to show the cover picture at all? Did I not show no. it? No. That's what it'll look like in large size. Um, this isn't actually a whip. But I do want to show it. Sure. So a lot of people have gotten their July sampler. This is why month. she blows the pictures up. Yeah, because really you can't see it. But the colors are very light, and I wanted something that represented Fourth of July. But yet I still wanted to keep the softness of them because a lot of them are are um, very soft, and if I keep them all together, in you know, yeah, you understand. <laughs> all right. So I've chosen Hollyberry by Gentle Arts and Dungarees by Gentle Arts. And then I'll keep the rest of the colors the same. But these are the two colors that I'm gonna change. Oh, that's, oh. that's bad. <laughs> that's bad. So those are the two colors that I'm gonna change the just the red and the blue to, and then I'll keep everything else the same. Yeah, because I don't know what blue is called for, but it's a pretty um I think it's still really chilly. Blue. Is it yeah. 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 Okay. So yep. so this will still play well with the softness of the other fabric scent or threads in it but still bring the brightness of the Americana mm -hmm. that I like. Okay next whip. Um, Do you need the cover picture? I think I have it right here. Okay. So I'm still working on my full still. coverage. You're not done with this yet? This will be like <laughs> seven year project. Yeah. Stay with us for at least seven years you'll see the end of it. An invited guest. That'd be like 12 for me. I got a lot done on this. <laughs> and then Jamie took a lot of it out for me because I got off one stitch, but it was going to be major. And I was so heartbroken, I couldn't even take it out myself. So she said, I'll take yours out, you take mine out. Yep. Okay. Yep. Because I can't take out my own. So I got a lot done, but I got a lot taken out too. So what, what she had is an extra stitch in one of the roofs, so it was too high. Which she could, we could have worked through and everything, but it's such a anchor point in the pattern. You yeah. just want it to be correct. And there's so much of it that I would have to keep working just to figure out that one stitch, and I just don't want to do it. So, 
Okay. So, yeah, but I wanted to show you okay. how I how I keep my floss for that one. It's nothing technical, but it's just in this basket. Do you remember why we have the basket? Yes. We'll tell that story yeah. in a minute. So these are the ones that I'm currently working with. And I wanted to show you my little floss rings. Jamie and I made those. Hers have snowmen on it. Mine have teddy bears on it. So these are just the little ring that I can deal with easily. And then these are the rest of them. Can you believe in that uninvited guest that there's this much color in that pattern? But, you know, take a look at this. Like, there's only like six of these colors. Yeah. <laughs> six stitches. Like, like the ghost eyeballs or something like that. Yeah. And then the ones, like, I have several skeins of extras stuff that I'm going to need, but I just don't want to put on a floss ring yet. I just have enough thing in the bottom. So you want to tell the story of the basket? Or? <laughs> so we were walking through Joanne's and we knew we were kidding this project up. And there's there's a lot. Um, there's easily 80 to 90 colors in it. Our hands are not that big. So we walked through the basket. we didn't think to get a basket when we walked yeah. in. So we walked through the basket aisle and the toad aisle. And we're like, hey, let's just stick them in here. And it'll give us something to hold on to. Well, we bought them. Yeah, because <laughs> it was so cute. I mean, yeah. It was just fun to carry around the store. Yeah. So we kept yeah. it. Oh, goofy. Okay. But we're goofy, like um, she said. I am still working on land that I love, and I've been trying to focus on these two, so that's why I don't have a lot done on the on the other projects. Land that I love by Teresa Kogut. And the hashtag for our quilt along stitch along is Teresa Kogut Land That I Love. That was put together by Help me out here. Lisa's Stitching Stables. She's the one that put this together, not us, but we did join in it with her. So we and that's like it if you guys are doing this that you would join it with us that's actually hashtag land that i love sal correct there's an sal at the end of it yes hashtag teresa kogut land that i love sal <laughs> it is linked below yeah. so the yeah. correct one is below i promise so i showed on instagram my house the other day but one thing you need to know is i have this thing all rolled up and it looks like i'm at the bottom of it but i'm not because I'm working down one side, and then I'll work down the other side. But I get bored so easy that I have to just, like, do things like that to mm -hmm. entertain my mind. But I love the stitch, and that's where I'm at on that one. Real quick, we forgot to mention, um, Uninvited Guest is on 25 Count, that Easy Count fabric. And this is 35 Count Tin Roof by Weak Style Works. And, you know, if you guys need an idea when you're working on these projects mm -hmm. with... A lot of floss this is what I do I just I have so many needles in here and I just keep it um, on a needle and then I just grab it put with, it away grab the next one with the color with the color yeah these are some boards that we made but you can also buy them from back quarter shop they're called bitty boards um, there's a number of people in Etsy on Etsy who sell different versions of them um, but we just took some cork board. There's a video on that. They're so shop. easy to make. Yep. Yeah. Cork board, some leftover fabric, some batting, glued it all together. There you go. You're good to go. Yep. Jamie made mine for me because she's a sweetheart. <laughs> my girly. My girly girl. Okay. Is that it for you? That's it for me. That's all I've been working on. So, this is no longer a whip, guys. This is December. Yay, December Cottage from Country Cottage Needleworks. On 28 count coffee tea dyed Monaco. Everything is called for with the exception of the red. And it's the called for DMC. So some of these are fancy floss, but I use the DMC. The red is classic color works cherry cobbler. It's one of my favorite reds. Yeah, it's very pretty. So there's that. And did, did you say the 25 count 28 count Monaco? I did. Um this was a whip until I finished it. Big surprise, right? <laughs> um, the next one I worked on, you probably saw just a little bit of it, is my modern folk embroidery, um, Fruits of Plenty. I was working on this for a little bit. And there's not a whole lot done. I extended this line out here, and I got some of the stuff done in the middle. But this is on 36 count flax. Um, linen by Spygart. I have not gotten much done, and the next clue comes out July 1st. I will not be caught up. <laughs> I know that. And I can just deal with it. It's fine. Um, one of the things I have been working on, I did buy a diamond painting. 
I got into that. Um, I was watching Stitching Mommy, Stitching Mommy, and I was watching some of her old videos, and she started talking about her diamond painting. And I've been wanting to do one, but it's like, I don't need anything else. Nah. So then she started talking about it more. I'm like, maybe I'll just look. <laughs> maybe I'll see what's out there. Well, I found this one, and it's much. it was much cheaper than I expected. It's, it's pretty small. I'm okay with it. Um, but it's a horse. So it kind of hit all the check boxes. It's going to be really hard for you guys to see because there's a, a film over the top of it, and I can't take it off because it's to protect the sticky. But Ooh, that shows up so good. way better than I thought. Um, I am working, I'm color completing because I don't have a good storage system for it. So basically I'm finishing one of the set of beads or gemstones, rhinestones, and just rolling them up, taping them up, and putting them in a box. So I've actually gone through from the bottom all the way up top to number four. Cool. That turns out, really, that shows up really good. Yeah. So I was working on that. So are you 50% done with that? 75% done with that? Eh, probably. Probably about 50. 55%. 55. <laughs> Let's get technical. Well, you are talking about me. Um, I will wait here just a second on Christmas calendar. I pulled this one out, Plum Street Samplers Americana or American I Sampler. Love this one. Yeah, and it's huge. It's I mm -hmm. love how big it is. Mm -hmm. This is one of my whip goes, and I to be honest, I can't remember my numbers right now. So which one's actually my current whip go projects or to come? And you said new numbers come out today? They do come out today, yes. So I'm excited. This is on twenty-eight count gotta get it right. Twenty-eight count coffee tea dyed Monaco. This little patch here is the start of that small rough over there. So that's it. That's all I got. I just got part of the rough done. Cool. Okay. The start is the start. I worked on this for a little bit, only about 400 stitches. I don't think I've showed it. If I have, I apologize. But um, charting creations, uninvited guest. The same one mom showed. I'm doing mine on 20 count white Lugana. And I just started working more over, or continued working more over here. I know I showed it a little bit, but that's it. That's all I got done on that one. Oops. White fabric on a pen is not a good idea. No, not at all. Okay. And then the last one I worked on was Christmas Calendar by Tiny Modernist. Again, I'm doing mine all individually, very similar to how Mom did hers. But I had worked on number 10 and I got it finished. This is on 32 count raw natural linen. And then, you know, I like to start Jump another around. one. Well, <laughs> I like to start another one, so I always have one going. I never have to restart anything. This is number 16. I started this, and then I'm like, well, let's just finish it real quick. So I did that. Then the next one I started was number 24, and it is a fireplace. So those are Santa's boots right there. That was a fun one to do. Yes. So some... I remember doing every single one of these. One by one. Yep. Somebody had asked what colors we used, and then I'm also going to show the ones that I have done. Um, Mom was going to bring hers, but they're really buried. From they're tucked away Christmas. with all my Christmas stuff, and and I looked in my book because I always write down um, my my floss colors, floss colors, my pattern that I'm doing the day I started, the day I finished it, so on and so forth, the fabric and. On this one, I noted that I put all my colors away before I wrote them down, so <laughs> go me. Yep. This is the color palette I used. It shows up really nice. It does. Most everything is a straight one-for-one, one-to-one one conversion. Um, some cases I tweaked a little bit, but I'll, I'll explain that. So, just plain white. Ecru. 945, I included this just for faces and stuff. 677, 676, these are my yellows, 729. 
my greens, 30, 53, 33, 63, and then 935. Good dark green. My red, so we had a I had a debacle with all my reds last time. I explained that to you. 3328. This is kind of the pink version. 3831. This is the light red. 816 is the medium red. And then the dark is 777. Okay, and then the blue, um, I have three blues here. It only calls for two blues. Um, I like the difference in colors, so I added basically wherever I wanted that extra blue in. I just kind of threw it in, so it's not consistent. 932, 931, and then 930. That's a great blue. Yeah. This, this has become my favorite set of blues. Yeah. it's I love it. Um, then my browns, we have 613. It looks green. It does, doesn't it? It's definitely not. Um, 40, no, 3045. And then 167. And then I also use black coffee. So in instances when black coffee might have been too stark or too in your face, I also use 3371. So I just made a judgment call. Um, there's no specific spots. But for example, I wasn't going to do the penguin in brown. The penguin had to be in black. Yeah. So I think the eyes I did in brown because black would have been too stark. So mm -hmm. different little changes like that is what I did. Um, and I didn't pick this conversion. And I've used the same colors, but I didn't pick the one for one conversion until about two weeks ago. So my previous finishes are a little less consistent on where I use my colors. But And I did want to show that the one thing that I did was... Where you can see pink, like in the bulbs and stuff, and there's other pinks in here. I took the pinks out, and I put blue in. Blue, yeah. So, I think I did in some cases, too. Yeah. So, I'll just go ahead and show you the, what I have done. This is number one. And you were going to show yours, but yours are... Mine are buried. Buried, yeah. yeah. So, number one. Number two. That's a little off-center. I do want to say, if you want to see mine... Please follow me on Instagram, Cornhusker State Stitcher. I put every single one of those on there, 1 through 31. Yeah, so if you look back to December of last year, you had one post that had everything in there, and yeah. then daily yeah. also. So you'll see the little horse that I, or reindeer, that I stuck them on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I did the blue also. Like Mom said, she did pink. I added blue in there. Number three. Number four, number five, number six. So you put blue in there too instead yeah. of pink. Number seven, and that's what I did the most. I added blue anywhere I could because that's my fave. <laughs> number eight, you guys saw this last time. Number nine, the pattern for this one calls for red. And I clearly did blue. Yeah, and I did mine in red, so there's a different option if you want to see mine. Yeah. Number 10, which I just showed you. Number 11 the teddy bear. Number 14, and there are gaps, you can tell. <laughs> Number 14. That one is adorable. Yeah. I just picked the, the ones I wanted to work on, so that's why there's gaps. Number 15. I modified this one ever so slightly. Um, I don't remember why, but I did modify it. Oh, because I was having issues with all my reds and it called for, it calls for three, four different reds in there. I'm like, I don't have the ability to do that. <laughs> number 16, which you just saw. Um, number 20, little rocking horse. 21. 22. And then 24, which you saw also, which is going to be the fireplace. So you actually are getting very close to being done with these. Mm -hmm. I better get my brain in gear to finish them for you, huh? That would be amazing. Oh. <laughs> um, I don't know the actual number, but I think I have about eight. I didn't eight think left. you were near that close. I'm, I'm proud of you. Thank you. It's amazing. You just chip away a little bit at a time. Yeah. Each week you do one or two. and. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. And then it feels like a, a finish. I mean, it is a finish, but little pieces feel like a finish. Yeah. And so that's actually a good point on how I count this. To me, this is one whip. I'm doing them all individually, but it's one pattern, one whip. Mm -hmm. So the whole thing comes off my whip list once this is all done. Okay, that's all I have for cross stitch whips. Okay, so do you have any finishes? Um, just the December cottage. That's all I had. Okay, I have a not a fully finished, but it was a previous finish. And this is red, white, and bloom. I forgot to look. Country cottage needleworks. Now, Jamie and I discussed it. We had a little powwow before. Consultation. Consultation. The white I don't like. And this is why I haven't finished it, why I haven't fully finished it. It, you can't see it. Like when you're across the room, it's so hard to see. So I don't know, I don't know <laughs> if I'm going to take it out or. So it's not true white that she stitched it in. I'm not exactly sure. It could be 3865. Um, I thought 3865 was bright. Bright, bright white. No. That's 5200. B5200. B5, okay. So I probably will have Jamie pop out the words. I'll leave the daisies in, but I'll take the words out. Have Jamie take the words out. I'll redo that. Cause I Unless just, you change your mind and decide to take out the daisies. <laughs> but I just keep looking at it across the room. It's like, I can't see it. I don't like it. So that's why I have not finished it. There's just kind of a gaping hole yeah. when you get back here. So, But it's still very pretty. And you did change your colors a little bit. Yes. Whether you remember what those are or not. They're all DMC. I'm looking at them. Yeah, I don't know why I did not prepare for this. I didn't bring out the colors and stuff. We're not on our A just, game today. No, we're not. I just wanted to show it to you as a finish. And what do you guys think? Do you, can you see the white? Should mm. I finish it now? Should I take it out? I think you I should, think take, I should it take it out. I think you should take it out for me. <laughs> um, yeah. Why, why did I have these out? Those go to Land That I Love. Okay. These are my Land That I Love colors. In case you want to see them. Just because. Just because. They're not all nice and pretty, but... They're so pretty. And I wanted to show you this. I think you've seen this in the past. Specifically for this project. But that's, I made, that's one that we made. I made this cute little one. It was like the very first one I ever made. And it's not that good. But it's a picture of mine that I love. Yep. Yeah. That charm we got at Hobby Lobby last year. So I'm not sure if you'll be able to find it or not. But. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Do you want to talk about why we were not, we were not here yesterday? Because that's where I'm, yes, that's where we're we headed. Didn't, we didn't talk about no, that. No, we haven't yet. Okay. So our favorite quilt store in Fremont, Country Traditions. Country t Traditions. Yeah. I had told you. Words. I had told you that they were for sale, and we didn't know if they were closing or not. So they're not letting out any information other than they think that they're under contract to be sold, and. Um, they're not closing. They're not closing. So that was the happy part is they're not closing. But they had a one day sew along, which was kind of like a mini retreat. Mm -hmm. So you just, you know, pay 10 bucks, come in, set up your sewing machine and spend all day sewing. So that's where we were yesterday and we, we had a blast. We found out about it last Monday and mom's like, should we do this? I'm like, yeah, yeah. let's do this. So she's like, it's floss tube day. It's like, I hope everybody will understand. <laughs> yeah. It's our happy time. We, we can, it's still floss tube weekend. Yeah. That's where we were. Yeah, we packed up all of our stuff. We only took one project. We were really good. Only took one project. I'm proud of us. Um, so, so we, continue. <laughs> Go on. Took Halloween fig samplers by Fig Tree Quilts, Joanna Figueroa. Um, that was our block of the month last year that we're just now mm -hmm. doing. Well, we just now bought it. Yeah. I'm going to spill that drink. <laughs> so... Continue. Uh, you got this. Well, I thought you were going to show oh. yours, too. Well. So we did a total of six blocks. Actually, we, total of eight. Well, of these, we did six. So we did three each on that. And then, I like this one. Yeah, we did our big block. It's birdie. A little at a time. I told Jamie if we really get our stuff in gear, then we can get it on the long arm and have it for Halloween. Um, for those who haven't seen these yet, these are just design boards, same as that little one that mom showed earlier that we made. Um, this one I actually bought, so you can see here, Riley Blake. Got it for Fat Quarter Shop, but the other ones we made. Yeah, this one Jamie made for me for Christmas last year. 
along with like six others, seven others. Did a good job. Ten others. <laughs> I love them. Oh, I forgot. I have some haul, but we'll get to that. We'll get back to that. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, so we were working on that quilting wise yesterday. Um, you have a lot more quilting to show. Did you want to talk about this one at all? You go ahead. Um, we showed this last time. This is Blooming Star by um, Cory Yoder, Coriander Quilts. And we're going to use our American Gatherings Fat that Quarter Pack it. that we bought. Um, so we're considering maybe doing a sew along if you guys are interested. Yeah, there were several people that mentioned that they were going to go out and get it too and they were going to do it. So if you guys are interested, we're considering it. It won't be very organized or anything. It'll be more like, hey, we're starting. Let's show our progress kind of thing. So if you guys are interested, let us know and we can shout Organize it out. Something, yeah. yeah, shout it out on our next video. Mm -hmm. But don't have high expectations. <laughs> Just let us know if you want to do it. I mean, if there's enough people, even if we have three or four, it'll be fun. Yes, anybody is fun. Mm -hmm. um, so we bought some stuff yesterday at Country Traditions. And then you have some more um, Did you have cross-stitch haul that you wanted to go through first? I have a little bit, yeah. Let's get the cross-stitch done so if people want to tune out for quilting, then they don't have to stick okay. around. So I bought some more 25-count fabric. I showed this a minute ago. But I have some more patterns I want to start. Uh, of course. And then fabric can't travel alone, just like a pattern can't travel alone. So I bought Patriotic Row by Bent Creek. I do love it. There's a couple more that I want to buy of these too. This isn't technically um, cross-stitch haul, but it's kind of the same idea. I bought another um, diamond painting that's going to look like that. And we'll see if this works. The other one showed up decently well. And this is what it's going to look like. Oh, I love that. So this is just the base. Um... The gems are round, so you have to have color around it to kind of fill out the, the picture. So, comes with this little plastic thing, and that's sticky. So, that's my cross stitch. Then you just little stick the little gems to it, and that's it. You don't have to heat it or anything, or nope. melt it, or you're good. Some I used to do these things where you'd have to put these little crystals or whatever. In like that, and then mm -hmm. you'd have to put it in the oven and melt it. And yep, <laughs> some of the yeah. um, more expensive diamond paintings I've seen come with a little roller, so when you're done with it, you can roll all your gems on. Okay, and get them really pressed down. Yeah. But... Okay. Um. What we, else? Yeah. We got the color and cotton twenty. I'm sorry, June fabric of the month, thirty two count Lagana, and this is called Fieldstone. Very pretty. Blue. We had been getting the linen, which I like the linen, mm -hmm. um, but we did switch to the Lugana. Um, I like it a little bit better. It's a little more substantial to stitch in hand with. Mm -hmm. you know, otherwise, I was having to use my my spring tension hoop, and I didn't always want to take it with me. Okay. okay. So we're going to move on to quilting. Hopefully, you guys will stick with us a little bit. I got a lot of little wall hanging quilts to show. Do you want to show our haul real quick? Yep, and let's then we'll do that. show our haul. Up at Country Traditions, they have um, some home decor stuff. So we saw these. They were 40% off. Mom got the bigger deal of 60% off. But they're little blocks, little quilt blocks. You, you had to buy more to get 60% off. Yes, you do. <laughs> so these are wood blocks. Just, and they yeah, sit Just up. to hang on your wall. Or place. you could just sit them up on your desk or something. I like that one. Yeah. I should have gotten all three of them. I should have. Bigger but discount. they have more, and they do have an online shop if you guys are interested. So I don't know if those will show up on the online shop, but feel free to check it out. And they're not closing. They're not closing. Um, I also got this. Sorry. That's fine. This is in a box, and it's cute and adorable, so I had to buy it. This is a little table topper by Kansas Troubles. It is called Through the Years. But it's, it's cute. And it's, it's in a box. And then we got fabric to do our um, fig tree, our backing for our fig tree quilt. So that was exciting. We got a free pattern yesterday, too. Yes, yeah, so we got a free pattern, pattern so we're probably going to be working on this next. What does that say? Hunting for cake. 
Designed by Country to Traditions. It uses a layer cake and it uses um, freezer paper to make the Hunter Star. So there's tons and tons of different ways to make the Hunter Star. This is just another option. Yeah, that's really cute. Yeah. We just got to find the right layer cake. Haven't figured out what we want to do with it yet. You know, we could use our stash, but let's buy some more. Is that all the haul we got? I thought we got yeah. a ton of stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, we all bought, we bought the same thing. That's, I got it. this. <laughs> You want to talk that, about that's it? got a little rubber end on it, so when you have to pick out a lot of stitches, you just rub this on your stitches and it kind of cleans them away instead of having to sit there and pick, pick, pick. It's actually a um, seam ripper, but it's by Seam Fix. I know that's not coming in very well because our faces are in the way, but if you guys are looking for them. Alrighty, so now to the pretty section. I've done a lot of quilting in the last couple of weeks, so I'm working on my Forevermore. By Pam Buddha. What is the name of her company? Heartspun. Mm -hmm. Heartspun Quilts. And that's what it's going to look like when it's done. Forevermore. I uh, should have done this one. You should have. I forget to show this every time. So that's that's the quilt that I always talk about. Forevermore. So I did these little pinwheel ball blocks. I did this one which is really really cute I love this mm -hmm. I'm just loving the colors in this quilt did this one don't ask me what the name of them are I can't remember I can look at these quilts all day long I know okay and then the big one the center section this one took me forever but I love it what I'm just poking them out. Oh, that's all. Okay, I thought you wanted me to move it closer. No. It's like, well, they can't see it. I'm being ornery. Yeah, that's typical. I should be used to that, right? Yep. Okay, so not only did that come in, but my... Come party, in and get finished. My Coriander Christmas next block came in and got finished. <laughs> so here's this one. Oh, I love that. I think this one's close to being done. This is month 10, that was right? month. So, yeah, that was month 10. So you have month, obviously, 11, 11 comes after 10. 12 comes after 11. <laughs> I sent her to school for this. <laughs> and then month 12 has all your finishing, all finishing. and sashing. So, yes. All right. So I just wanted to show you some of the quilts, the little wall hanging quilts that I've done in the past. We didn't actually bring up a full quilt today because she's got all of these and they're, they're adorable. So this is um, called... Julie, and this no, is... No, no. that's not the one. Let me find Julie. <laughs> Julie. Let's start with, this is in the book, Little Handful of Scraps by Aditya Sitar, Laundry Basket Quilts. This is a fun one. She's got a bunch of little little hangers like this. So this is called Julie. Yes. And this was so much fun. Now it's an applique. Mom made that for me, for one of those for me for Christmas. Yeah. That's hers. So these little pieces were cut out with the Accu quilt. Um, all these little pieces. This was just hand cut out from a piece of fabric that she had. And you just um, kind of fussy cut it. A lot of fun. I like her stuff. Mm -hmm. We, so, taking a quick second. One of the trills... One of the retreats that we did was through Country Traditions, and they brought in Adetta, and she is the most She's amazing adorable. person. Yes, so sweet. And she brought in a trunk show that was phenomenal. Just to die for. So she basically brought in all of these quilts and like three books worth of quilts. Yeah. It was fantastic. Your head was swimming by the end of it. It's like, I want to do every one of them. Mm -hmm. um, this one is called Jesse. Now, this one sits in my bathroom just as a little countertop thing. I, you know, have my Kleenex and stuff on it. But since it sits there, this has been washed several times. And you can tell it's um, kind of puffy and stuff because it's been washed so much. But it is just adorable. And you just use scraps on that. I just use scraps and the nice little home accent, accent piece. Mm -hmm. I think that's all out of that book. Okay. I do have some little squares there. I planned on making you one too, and I haven't gotten around to it. But I saw them in there. There's, I was like, there's your little anything. squares. 
This is what mine's gonna look like. <laughs> blue. <laughs> it better be blue. This one is Kim Deal. Mm -hmm. Kim Deal fabric. Kim Deal fabrics. Well, it's her um, whatnots, simple whatnots. That's right. So uh, this was from two, three years ago, four years ago maybe. But she puts out a simple whatnots every year where she does like six of these. And they're just little cute little wall hangings or table runners or things like that. Mm -hmm. And I just, I love her fabrics. They're so cute. I actually have this hanging in my office at work. Uh -huh. Well, my cubicle. Um, all of these tiny little things, they're great for, like you said, you have your Kleenexes sitting on one on your bathroom counter. Yeah. And I have them decorating my cube at work. And you just have them sporadically around the house. So it's a little bit of color and a little bit of, of stuff. Yeah. So I'm going to hang this one on my wall because it's, tis the season. This is another Adetta sitar, and this is her silhouettes. So you can get these pre-cut or pre, yeah, pre-cut. Yep, these are laser cut. Laser pieces. cut. Yep. So you just iron them on and stitch around them. I love that one. That's so cute. There's my bag on that one. This was one of the very first ones that we did, mm -hmm. and this is a. What's that called? Crazy quilt? Crazy quilt, yeah. But that's Kansas Troubles fabric. That's the first thing I did in Kansas Troubles. And that is when I fell in love with them. Mm hmm And there's my back. Pieced it together. It's a great way to use up scraps. Yep. Back to. Yeah, so I love that. So you just, you know, if you've done a crazy quilt, you just put the pieces together, sew them together, and then you just top stitch um, decorative stitches on top of them just to make it cute. You basically, you stack and whack. Stack and whack. Yeah. Yep. You take a stack and you whack some pieces into it and then sew them all together again. But that one's more about the, the cute little stitches on top, the top stitching. So That's all I got. Is that all you have? That is all I have. Okay. Anything else on the table we need to talk about? No? No. It's been a good, um, good show. One thing I did, like I said, I did a lot of quilting. This was not this week because I was swamped this week, but a week ago I got a lot of quilting done. And I actually did my binding and my backing. Uh, I have to remember what I did. On my Adida Sitar California quilt that you guys have been seeing since like day one. So I'm going to get that on the long... No. You did the backing I, for that quilt though. Yeah, I did the backing for that quilt. But you haven't quilted it. So you I haven't quilted it. Did you cut the binding? Is that what you meant? You cut No, it. I haven't cut that yet, but okay. I did the binding for my summer wedding quilt. <laughs> okay, yeah, so two weeks ago you saw my summer wedding quilt. That's the purple one that looks like the um, double, wedding double, ring. double wedding ring. So I did a quilt label, and I do those on my embroidery machine. So for whatever reason, it took me 45 minutes to figure this thing out. Finally got it stitched up. I didn't sew it on the quilt, but I pinned it on, put it underneath the binding, sent Jamie a picture. What do you think? She's like, oh, it's so cute. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. So it's sitting on my kitchen table waiting to be hand stitched. And I look and it's like, that's the name of the fabric line. That's not the name of the quilt. So I put summer on the pond instead of summer wedding on it. So now I got to redo that. Yeah. So I was kind of. She's like, why didn't you tell me I was wrong? I'm like. It was right notice. to me, like, because I made up my pattern for mine, and I always called it Summer on the Pond, even though that's the name of the fabric. I'm like, it's it's fine. Yeah. It was wrong. So for my summer wedding quilt, I still have to hand stitch the binding on and redo the label. And then for California, I have to get it on the long arm machine. Yep, yep, so yep. Those will be done hopefully soon. Okay. Okay. What are our plans? Um... Maybe attempt to stitch. Do, do we have plans? Yeah, I want to start stitching. We have the 4th of July coming up. Yep. Uh, that's next weekend. So Independence Day here in the States. Yep. So, if, I mean, everybody has 4th of July, <laughs> but if you're in the States, we celebrate Independence Day. Um, I have company coming in from Colorado. Mm -hmm. Whipco numbers get called today, so mm -hmm. hopefully I'll have some new blood in my whip rotation. And hopefully my husband will be doing another trip soon so I can just sit down and relax and do some stitching. But that's We all. love him. We love him. But when when the whole family's together, it's like, let's go to dinner. Let's go get some stuff done. Let's do family stuff. There's not a lot of stitching in family stuff. 
Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's all. Yes. That's it. That is. Thank you guys so much for joining us. We appreciate it. We apologize for being scatterbrained today. <laughs> we but are we're going, here. We got it. We're going to the lake this afternoon, hopefully. Cross your It's fingers. finally stopped raining and the sun's shining. It so. is shining. Yes, it is. Yeah. All right. Do you want to do your closing spiel? Follow us. <laughs> I always forget that. <laughs> you forgot to write it down. I did. Um, follow us on Instagram. Me at Cornhusker State Stitcher. Jamie at Jamie Mickelson. We'll link that below. Like, subscribe, comment. We like to hear from you guys. Yep. Let us know what we enabled you with. Yeah. So you can be sure and put that down. If there's any patterns you think we need, let us know. Because, you know, let's buy some more stuff. Right. Yeah. We'll have so much staff that we'll die before we can even get to it, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, somebody said they needed to live 100 years to do their stuff. It's like, yeah, more like I'm at 400, <laughs> I think, all my my full-covered stuff. But so. Well, thank you, guys. We appreciate you sticking with us and waiting for us. Bye, guys. Bye.